Hello and welcome back to Lucas Car Reviews. Today I'm featuring a 2015 Volkswagen E-Golf SEL Premium. Let's get into it. This E-Golf comes with a silver exterior with a Titan black leatherette interior. This E-Golf has push button ignition. To utilize, simply have the key fob in proximity of the interior, put your foot on a brake, and hit the button to go. Simple as that. This e-golf has a leather wrapped steering wheel with some very nice stitching all around the wheel. All right, we'll go to cut on the headlights. Does have automatic lights as well as the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic. And now we're going to check out the exterior. And now we're gonna go in and pop the engine bay.
All right, now we'll go ahead and shut it down. All right, now on the back seat, uh, it's a pretty simple cabin, which may not be a bad thing necessarily. Got some nice lighting back here, and uh, you do have trunk access uh, from this. Pretty nice. Uh, of course, you do get some cup holders or an armrest, whatever you would like to use it for. You can fold down the rear seats if you need more trunk space. Uh, now, for leg room and such, uh, I'm around five foot eight or so, and this seat is set from a friend who is six foot three ish, I believe. And honestly, the leg room is not that bad. It's not great by any means, but no complaints necessarily. Here's your lighting for those who like that. But yeah, I mean, leg room is honestly not that bad. It's not as bad as you would think for such a small car. But uh, yeah, no complaints about the back seat. Yeah, the trunk is pretty straightforward. Uh, as I mentioned a minute ago, you can fold down the rear seats if you do need more trunk space. But again, for a car this small, the trunk space is actually pretty good. Uh, here's a little more storage for like the jacks and stuff like that. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and you can remove this for the record if you wanted to. It's not fixed in place. Uh, I will demonstrate that in another video at some point. But yeah, overall not bad trunk space for such a small car. Now, you would think for a Volkswagen, the cabin noise might not be great, but it is actually pretty quiet in here. Uh, I've gotten multiple rides in this car, and I'm not even being biased or anything. This is actually a nice cabin, not too much noise. Honestly, well done, Volkswagen. It's no complaints about the interior. It's very Volkswagen-like. Some of the quality isn't great, but... It's a nice and quiet cabin, pretty straightforward. It's honestly pretty much your typical Volkswagen, except for, you know, like the regenerative braking and such. Uh, it's pretty much just like any other Golf, really. I honestly have no complaints about this car. pretty nice yeah. yeah you wouldn't have thought for a car like this but it really it, works yeah it, it's disguised it's disguised as a normal car but it really right works like a sports car yeah yeah for sure it's good low end torque you know yeah it, it, it's instant all right guys hope you all enjoyed my review of the 2015 volkswagen e-golf uh final words for the video would be this is an underrated car honestly what I like so much about this car is it's electric, but it's pretty much just any other Golf, really. Like, it looks like a normal car, just it has an electric motor and then a few other cosmetic changes. I really respect folks like him for doing that instead of making a uh, quirky looking design, if you will. Anywho, hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace, guys.